Hi everyone, this is story time on Home Alone Gone Wrong, and I'm saying this to spread awareness because it's really scary and there are weird people in this world, and I want to share my experience so you guys can learn from my mistakes. So this was about a little over a month ago. I have not been ready to talk about it because it scares me so bad and I hate talking about it, but I'm ready now and we're good. About a month ago, my parents were going to a concert and they said that they will be back at 11.30. They left and I was content. It was fine. It was dark outside. I stay home alone all the time. It was not an issue. So at 11.30, they weren't home. I texted my mom and I said, hey, where are you guys like running late? Like, when do you think you're going to be home now? No response. 11.45. So I kept texting like every 15 minutes and at midnight, I finally called my mom and I was like, hey, like, you're still not home. Like, where are you? She didn't pick up. I left a voicemail, did not answer. Then at 1, so oh, they were supposed to be at 11.30. It's 1 o'clock. I call my dad's phone and I'm like, hey, like, where are you? He doesn't pick up, goes to voicemail. I leave a voicemail. Then I call the people out there with their friends. I call their friends. No answer. So I'm like, it's fine. It's okay. Yet again, I'm home alone all the time. This is nothing, like, weird. I was fine. So I send my friend a vlog on Snapchat and I'm like, hey, like, um this is home alone gone wrong like it's one o'clock like <laughs> and i was like don't be surprised if i don't respond tomorrow not funny and i remember the time exactly it was 1 17 in the morning and this is my ricky mistake number one is i had the lights on in the kitchen so i'm on the second story i have the lights on in the kitchen and it's pitch black outside i open the curtain just to see like if there's a car coming down just anything it's 1 17 i'm expecting nothing but there is a car going so slow on the street behind my house. So slow, like ridiculously slow. Then they stop. Their car stops, they get out, and they walk around their car, like closer to my house. And I know that they walked out because I could see them in their headlight beams. And then they go back, and they get back in their car and start driving really slowly again. So I send a vlog to my friends, and I'm like, guys, like, I just saw this car, like, this is the end. Like, they're going to come to my house. Obviously, as a joke, because whatever... I would ever think such things anyway so then i turn off my phone and i go into the front living room which is now on the first story our house is like the front is the like on the ground level and then it like i think you guys know what i mean but i have the lights off this time so that they can't see me so i open the like curtain and i'm looking out and of course this car turns on my street and i'm like what are the odds what are the odds then i'm just watching it like literally my whole body is still i can't i'm not breathing i cannot move i'm literally holding my breath because i'm so scared and this car stops in front of my driveway, blocking me in. Yes, I have other exits in my house, but for a car, I could not leave. Like, I'm like literally pinned in my own house. So that is when the panic really set in, is when they parked in front of my driveway. So I call my dad. Thank God he answers. And I'm crying. I'm like, Dad, like, someone is at our house. Like, you need to get home right now. I don't know where you are. Like, you need to be home. Literally, like, uncontrollably sobbing, begging them to get home because I'm so scared. And then I like my heart sink because earlier that day we had people doing work on our trees in the backyard. So the gate to our backyard is wide open, wide open, like practically begging someone to come into our backyard. So I run downstairs and I'm like double checking that this door is unlocked or locked. I mean, whoa, <laughs> I'm like literally like trying to pry this door open with all my strength, making sure that nobody else could. You guys, I'm shaking. Just kidding, I hate talking about this though. So then, this door, I'm at, like, all of a sudden, it was like an out-of-body experience. My mind snapped into like, this is fight or flight. Like, this is fight or flight. Because I had my sister's shoe by, shoes by the door, and I was like, I'm, like, I was ready to unlock the door, put the shoes on, and run. Like, leave my home. Because I thought this person was gonna get in. So I'm literally staying there, like, considering leaving. Like, I'm like, I have to either go upstairs and, like, literally be ready to, like, fight because this guy is going to get in my house. Or I need to leave right now out this back door, like, now and find someone's house to go to because I'm not staying. I have never had an experience like that, but I knew. Like, I knew something was wrong. And I immediately, like, literally, I can't even explain it other than, like, a literal flip switch in my brain where I was like, you you have to leave or you have to fight like oh my gosh i'm i hate talking about this anyway so i was downstairs downstairs this person is upstairs and my dad called me again but i was so scared that if i was even talking on the phone in my own house they would hear me i don't know i was scared so i put my phone in my pocket i went back upstairs and i was standing there and this guy is pounding on the door pounding on the door yelling like i know you're in there i know you're in there like pounding 
like oh my gosh and then i'm like sitting there i'm like i don't know what to do so i pull out my phone again and i, I like i don't even say anything like i my dad just talking he's like what's going on like we're almost there like what's going on i didn't even say anything because i had no idea what i was supposed to do i, I had no idea but i also have so I, my front door is wood you cannot get through it but there's also a flimsy metal door that you can it's easier to break but the wood door is not moving that's why i'm so worried about my back door because my back door is the most flimsy lock you've ever seen you could get in there so easily oh my god i'm stressed out are you guys anyway so i'm listening to this guy and i just put the phone out and so my dad can hear the banging they got open the metal door and they were like rattling it like anyway so i was literally like sitting there just like in shock i didn't even know what to do i was like i was literally like waiting for this door to break i was waiting like waiting for the door like i was waiting for this door to break like i thought my fate was sealed this guy's coming in he's getting in whatever anyway so then the shaking and stuff stops everything stops this was now after like all the like coming to my house blocking the driveway going to the door the shaking now it is um it was 1 32 so it wasn't that long it's not even it's just no that's too much that's too long so then when the shaking stops i can't go to the front window he he could have been there i don't know i had no idea if he was alone if he had intentions of like literally getting my house if he was just crazy i had no idea so at this point i was convinced i was like he knows the gate's open he's going back there and he's going to try the door downstairs our door downstairs does not have curtains so if he's there he can see into my house so I go downstairs and I'm waiting. Like, I'm waiting for to see a figure go to that door and literally get it inside. Thank God. Thank God. I waited down there for 10 minutes. Nothing happened. I go back upstairs and the car is gone. Gone. Everything is done. The whole scene ended there. Everything. And you guys are probably like, oh, it's not even that big of a deal. He didn't even get in. Do you know how terrifying that is? Like, I was literally, like, I was convinced that I like he was gonna get in my house and i was done for and i needed to leave or fight like anyways but so that's my story my parents got home we couldn't do anything our ring doorbells are all broken right now we have no footage no evidence nothing um we cannot get police involved because well we did we tried but because they didn't they did not damage our property they did not break a lock they didn't chip any paint they didn't like literally they did nothing to damage our house we cannot do anything I also was so scared that I have no memory of anything except for, like, I need to, like, make it. That I can't report anything. I have no idea. We've already tried. The good news is that we replaced our lock down here and we have literally, like, thick wood bars that go in our door. No one is ever getting in. We got curtains so that that thing is blocked. Our, all of our doorbells, like, at both the front and the back are working and the cameras are on. We installed cameras at every single corner of our home i mean no one is getting in here anymore we have alarm systems security systems everything but please you guys like if you have a gut feeling like i did i can't even explain to you like i can make a whole nother video on like this like gut feeling i had but if you ever have a feeling that something is wrong i don't care if they don't get into your house like if you have a feeling like that do not ignore it like change something fix it fix your locks update your cameras like do not let this be you because people are crazy people are crazy People are crazy and anyway i just hope you guys are all staying safe because there are weird people out there and i love you lots <sighs>